Hi, welcome to Chatham High School. My name is Chef Alicia Curry. I'm an employee with Chartwell. And I'm here to talk to you today about acorn squash. Acorn squash is, uh, there's several different varieties and it is very rich in vitamin C, vitamin A, B6, folic acid, and magnesium. So in case you didn't know, magnesium is one of those minerals that your body requires in order for you to help stabilize your mood and also help you sleep at night. So let's get started. Today we have two different, two sizes or varieties of um, acorn squash. Both of them are readily available at any supermarket and or farmer's market of, around. Um, to kind of give you a quick idea, most acorn squash will come with a sticker. If you, on the sticker, if you see, it indicates where the, where the, where the acorn squash was grown. And also you'll see a product ID, a four digit product ID, and that's gonna give you an indication that it is an actual non-GMO product. Anything with five to six digits or higher has been altered one way or another. So just to kind of give you a heads up, if you're looking to keep things organic or from a natural standpoint, then you wanna go with the items that have four digits or less. So let's get in. To start, an acorn squash cannot be peeled by itself. What has to be done is you can either bake it, roast it, grill it, or boil it to remove this outer skin. So what we're going to do to ensure that we have a safe environment is we're going to cut the top off, which has a stem right here. Please be mindful that you do need to have a super sharp knife to ensure that you're cutting the product down and not yourself. So as you see, we have this cut down, which gives us a nice surface to work with. I'm gonna go ahead in and crack this beautiful squash open. Once opened up, you see it has a very fibrous and a lot of wonderful seeds that were originally used to help this product grow. I have my garbage bowl, and we're gonna take this and scrape out the inside. Now so that you know, an acorn squash can be used as a side dish or either a main dish. It has a very sweet yet firm flesh. It's mainly grown during the winter months, however, with today's uh, agricultural, it's available all year round. So here we have our item all scooped out. What we're gonna do next is we're gonna add some oil. And this is just a little light, pure olive oil. When cooking, just a little side note, whenever you're cooking and you're using olive oils, either pure or extra virgin, extra virgin is used for salad dressings and light, very light oiling, not necessarily for cooking. If you plan on doing any type of sauteing or grilling, I do recommend that you use a pure olive oil that can withstand the heat and has a pretty decent burn rate. So we're gonna take our oil and rub it all around. And as you see, it has a pretty decent flesh. Next, we're gonna take some white pepper. Why white pepper, you may think, instead of black pepper? It's really mainly just a, a matter of choice. I happen to like the mild flavor of a white pepper in lieu of a black pepper and if I was making this for a client I would use white because it kind of blends in with the flesh of the item. Here we have some nutmeg, it's a warming spice, one of the many warming spices. And we have some cinnamon. Now you may, may be wondering why is she using nutmeg and cinnamon? We usually use that in our apple pies and fruit tarts. Well nutmeg and cinnamon are like I said warming spices and can be used with both savory and sweet items. So we're gonna rub that all around. Next, we're just gonna add a pinch of salt. And then just a little bit of brown sugar. And again, I'm gonna rub that all in. Just kinda of fell out there, huh? Here's our, half, our sheet pan with some non-bleached uh, parchment paper. We're gonna put the item face down, and then we're gonna go over to our oven. 
Our oven is preheated to 350 degrees and our acorn squash is going to cook for approximately 25 to 30 minutes depending on your oven. Here, of course, in the professional kitchen, we have a convection oven which, is, you know, which rotates uh, air around the product as it cooks. So that does speed up the cooking process for, but for you home cooks and first timers you know, within the kitchen dealing with an acorn squash, just make sure you preheat your oven and typically in the middle of your oven would be the hottest point of your, um, of your unit and you just wanna have a half sheet pan, either foil, parchment paper is preferred and also lay the product face down. You're gonna let this cook. How would you know that it is done? It will be considered done once you can actually pierce it with a fork. I wouldn't use a knife with a fork. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get this in the oven now and we're gonna bake this for approximately 25 to 30 minutes or like I said, to, until it's done. And how do you know it's done? Once you can pierce it with a fork through the top of the skin. So let's get this in the oven. So here our squash has been cooking for approximately 25 to 30 minutes as I indicated. Taking a look at it now, you can see it definitely has uh, um, cooked down. The flesh on the outside or the exterior is really soft and tender. And this is the part that is inedible, just so that you know. So what we're going to do now is we're going to plate up. Now please be careful as this is extremely hot. And let's get our pan out of the way. So we're gonna make her look very pretty now. So here as you can see, this is our finished product from what we started out with. This is the acorn starch, uh, acorn squash, sorry, <laughs> that we started out with. As you can see, it has a really good weight on it. This is uh, this serving can size. Can, this size can serve anywhere from two, say two to three people, depending on uh, your appetite. I myself could eat a half of one all by myself, but I happen to love the taste of it. And once it cooks down, if you don't want to have if you, uh, the squash exactly like this, you're welcome to add some wild rice or brown rice to it. It goes great with bacon and garlic, which is a wonderful mixture. Um, for our vegetarians or those that are looking to eat a healthier aspect, this will go beautifully with a quinoa salad. Um, I think that's really about it. So let's give her a really good taste and see where we are. It's a wonderful crust on the top of it. As you can see, the flesh is very firm. Oh, that's nice and hot. You can taste the cinnamon, you can taste the nutmeg. Very, very light on salt, very light on white pepper, and light on the brown sugar. And you just have a really nice, well-balanced, flavorful um, item that happens to be very good for you and it will satiate you. So again, hi, thanks for coming out. My name is Chef Alicia Curry and today I am demoing for you the acorn squash. Take care.